Following its crushing defeat in the recent presidential and legislative elections, the KMT has been engaged in much self-reflection. This Wednesday, the KMT will begin collecting reports from each electoral district where its candidates were defeated to ascertain the reasons for their failure. It also plans to set up a party reform committee. Meanwhile, outgoing KMT legislator Luo Shulei has called on the party to implement real changes and not just pay lip service to reform. On her last day in office, legislator Luo Shu Lei prepared 10,000 bags of rice to give to low-income households. When asked about the KMT's plans to set up a reform committee, she was cautious. Did any of those candidates running for KMT chair, including Hong Xiaoju, speak up when President Ma ying policies were the wrong ones? Therefore, if anyone talks about reform, it must not just be superficial lip service, without a heart invested in the good of the party. The KMT Central Standing Committee on Wednesday will be aggregating reports from all over Taiwan, describing the reasons for the KMT's defeat in individual areas. There have been rancorous arguments. For example, KMT lawmaker Alec Tsai has criticised party officials for cronyism during the rule of President Ma. Some really loyal and patriotic KMT members have been sent packing. If the KMT was smart, it would make me head of its organisational development committee and it should appoint Alec Tsai as the head of its culture and communications committee. With KMT members from the highest to lowest levels calling for new blood in the party, the KMT's planned reform committee is bound to be overseeing some growing pains.